Hi, I'm Kelsey Williams, horn player with the Civic Orchestra of Chicago, freelance musician and teacher. Every day for me starts with a healthy warm up. This can take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, but I do think it's really important that we're able to adjust our regular warm up routine based on your playing demands for the day. The way to do this is to examine your warm up routine as is and identify the skeleton of what is actually needed to touch on every aspect of the horn so you're ready to play anything and how much is just healthy daily exercises that you could cut. If I have to play a Mahler symphony later in the evening, I'm probably not going to do my hour-long routine in the morning, especially if I'm trying to get any practicing in that day. Whether I'm doing my abbreviated warm-up or the full thing, it's crucial for me to always include a good amount of flexibility exercises. I love spending time with the harmonic series, slurring my way up, down, and around the horn, and with this, you can make up any pattern. I do a lot of this from the Teuber Progressive Studies book. You can extend this as little or as much as you like. So for me, I also like to do this in the upper octave, but I think it's super important that we remember to connect the ranges after you're done. For example, For you, you might need to spend more time with some articulation exercises and less on flexibility. When I sit down to practice, my overarching goal is always to be as efficient as possible with my time. The best way to do this is by setting goals. For me and most of us, setting long-term goals is easy, but the thing that's going to get you there are the short-term goals. During my master's degree at Northwestern University, I was taught to rate the excerpts for whatever audition list I'm preparing. You can do this with any given lesson assignment you're working on, etudes, even broken down sections of etudes, movements of solo repertoire, and so on. In my notebook, I list the repertoire down the left side and make as many columns for however many times I plan to rate and re-rate myself. I always make sure to put the date at the start of these columns so I can stay honest about how regularly it happens. Rate things on a scale from one to three. One meaning it's a new excerpt, something you don't know. Two meaning it's in the workshop stage. And three meaning you're confident to perform the excerpt right now. You could use a larger scale if you want, but I think it's best to just keep it simple. The goal, of course, would be to have all threes or as few ones and twos as possible. So those excerpts are the ones that get my attention first. This is not to say you should avoid playing your three rated excerpts. You should practice performing those every couple days. It's just a more meticulous and detailed approach to the tough things first idea. So when I sit down to practice after a break from my warm up, I check my ratings. Let's say I still have the Ein Heldenleben excerpt rated at a two. I ask myself what's keeping me from rating it a three. As horn players, we're really quick to jump to, well, I missed notes, because we all have battle wounds from previous experiences. <laughs> However, it's so much more productive to think these 16th note licks aren't very clean, why? Okay, I'm rushing them. I'm also making too much of the staccato. 
This is leading to the note inaccuracies. Expert practicers are really just expert problem identifiers and problem solvers. I would slow practice these sixteenths, but keep the articulated sixteenths long. An Alexander Technique instructor I worked with, John Hennis, pointed out to me that it's not the space in between the notes you are trying to practice by slowing it down. So with this in mind, I keep the length to make sure I'm really blowing good air all the way through the little notes. These notes will naturally be short once they are back at performance tempo. I spend a lot of time with this thing, so I love to explore my musical creativity away from the horn. I grew up singing and taking piano lessons, so I love sitting down at the piano and singing some Sarah Bareilles tunes. It's so important to be creative and have fun with music for your sanity's sake and to keep things fresh. Thanks so much for watching. Go check out some of the other awesome practice tips videos and have fun with it. I'd love to share with you a little bit of how I'm creative and express myself away from the horn. Hearts have colors, don't we all know? Red runs through our veins. Feel the fire burning up, inspire me with blood of blue and green. I have hope inside is not a heart but a kaleidoscope.